that I present the Academy Award for the best performance of an actress in supporting roles during 1939 to Hattie McDaniel. Hattie McDaniel, first black person to win an Oscar. And what did she win for? Her supporting role in Gone with the Wind as a house slave and caregiver to a white slave-owning family in the Confederate South. Miss Garland, come on in the house. Come on in before you catch your death or damnness. No. The only name given to Hattie's character <laughs> is Mammy. It was only the 12th Academy Awards ever. Held in the infamous Coconut Grove nightclub, Hattie couldn't even get in the door. Gone with the Wind mega producer David O. Selznick, who was a big deal in Hollywood at the time, had to call in favors in order for Hattie to be escorted onto the premises to even pick up the award. After the Oscars, the NAACP disowned Hattie. They had a problem with the negative stereotypes that the Mammy character perpetuated. So a Mammy character is a gross depiction of older black women, housemaids or slaves who dedicated their lives to the children of white families. Mammy's also provided comic relief, often given wide smiles and exaggerated laughs. <laughs> Mammy's were maternal and royal, but they were also shown as being really stupid. It ain't fitting, it just ain't fitting. Audiences were expected to chuckle at the cute ignorance of these women. Civil rights groups picketed the premieres of Gone with the Wind in New York and Chicago and held signs that said, you to be sweet too, under a whip. It is made to appear that she loves this degrading position in service of a family that has helped keep her people in chain for centuries. That's what Carlton Moss, a famous black critic, wrote to David Oselznick about Hattie's character. Hattie never apologized to her critics. Instead, she shot back. In 1952, Hattie died of breast cancer and requested to be buried in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. However, the cemetery didn't allow black people to be buried there at the time. After Hattie, the next black woman to win an Oscar was Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. 50 years after Hattie's historic win. When Monique won an Academy Award for her supporting role in Precious, she was in an outfit that paid homage to Hattie and thanked her in her speech. I want to thank Miss Hattie McDaniel for enduring all that she had to so that I would not have to. 80 years after Hattie's historic Oscar win, Monique and a slew of other black actresses are still fighting for respect and representation in Hollywood. Hattie's intention was to always inspire young black performers for generations to come. I sincerely hope I shall always be a credit to my race and to the motion picture industry. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. And may I say thank you and God bless you.